So here's the thing that I did. I decided, you know, in those who have followed this show for quite some time know that we've talked about two house theology uh, at length. And the thing is, is that I used to, and probably the most recent episodes that you could see on this uh, subject, I have said that there is a newer kind of understanding of what two house theology is. Well, I wanted to test that theory, so I went online and I looked and started looking up um, articles on Two House Theology. Now, for those who don't know, Two House Theology comes from British Israelism. This was the notion that, Brit, uh, that Britain was actually the lost 10 tribes of Israel. And that if you were a English person and or a white English person descended into whatever country you're, you are now, that you were actually one of the lost tribes of Israel. So this is what British Israelism is essentially teaches in, in a nutshell. Uh, this expands over into all sorts of different other places like the Americas. And in the 90s, late 80s, early 90s, a uh, woman named Bacha Wooten takes up British Israelism. She changes it. And what she does is she creates what essentially, well, I don't know if I'd say she creates, she makes popular what is known as Two House Theology. And uh, she has like she has a book that is in like its 18th revision or something like that at this point. It's ridiculous. Anyway, and I think um, it's called is it MIA Messianic Israelites Alliance or Association or something like that. Something like that. But anyway, what what uh, Baja put forward was the notion that if you are a believer, doesn't matter what country you're in, doesn't matter what your heritage is, if you are a believer uh, and you have come to faith in Christ, you don't know it per se. But somewhere in your lineage, you are one of the lost 10 tribes of Israel. And so there is multiple problems with this. Now, before I talk about the multiple problems with that, let's just go to my recent comments that there's a new form of two-house theology. I don't actually think that's true. I think that what I have perceived as a new understanding of two-house theology is a misunderstanding of a few thinking that two house says that the uh, Gentiles keep the uh, keep the laws of God as well. This, this is a misunderstanding of two house theology. That is not the case. It's not written anywhere that I can find. No one has stated that in um, online videos or online that I, that I can find. I'm sure people have said it, but I can't find that. All the articles uh, reference two house theology, even recent articles, even articles as, as uh, recent as 2021, state that two-house theology is a ripoff of British Israelism and uh, describe it as I have described it, which is that if you are a Gentile, quote-unquote, Gentile who comes to faith in Christ, uh, really you are one of the lost 10 tribes of Israel and you don't know it. Okay, so what are the problems with this and, and uh, why should this be rejected? Well, there's a number of reasons why, but my go-to reason is because Paul... Um, what Paul is doing in his letters is he is showing that he has had a radical transformation in his brain of what the gospel is. And really what the gospel is, is that in your seed, all the nations of the earth will be blessed. And so what Paul sees as the gospel is the ingathering of nations, not that, that uh, the lost 10 tribes come to faith. It is that the Gentiles come to a love and a... Uh, a a love for God, and that is manifested through covenant relationship, um, covenant relationship with the living God, and that is done through God's covenants, obviously, hence covenant relationship. And so the notion that uh, we would have uh, that any believer in Christ is really a lost end tribe takes out any of the notion of the, uh, of the Abrahamic promise uh, and the uh, really the Abrahamic covenant. And the fact that Christ's blood atones for all people. If we look at Micah 4, um, what, what do we see? We see that, uh, that God, uh, he comes in human form. He sits on the throne and the Torah will go out from Jerusalem to all the nations and all the nations will adhere. Well, how is this possible if all of the nations are now just the lost tribes of Israel? Essentially what this does is it, may, it, it is really without... Uh, I think I don't think Bacha Wooten was necessarily trying to do this when she when she wrote or the people s since then. But really, what two house theology is is a buying in uh, to the notion of bloodline superiority. If I'm Jewish, I'm better than if I'm a Gentile. 
The Jews are better than the Gentiles. The Jews have a better handle on Scripture. The, beer, the Jews have better theology. The Jews can handle the Scriptures, whereas the Gentiles can't. This is racism. That, that's what it is. It's racist. You're saying that one, one uh, tribe of people, one people group, one race of people is better than another. That's called racism. So ultimately, the major problem with two-house theology is that it's rooted in the notion that the Jews are better than the Gentiles, and that is racist. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell us your thoughts on this subject by leaving a comment in the comment section. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and enable those notifications, and we'll see you in the next video.